These four crypto coins will 139X. Is it the last chance to buy? In this video, we're gonna talk quickly about when is the bottom of this market and when do we start going up again? We're gonna talk about how timing is more important than the coins that you select. We're gonna talk about everyone talking about how you just got lucky when you make it at the end of this market and how stupid that is. And we're gonna talk about balls I totally erased it with my hand. It says balls for the boat. Get ready for that one. If you're excited about that, do me a favor and smooch a like button. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Kale. Hey, I got a quick video for you today. I'm a little bit tired. I didn't sleep very well last night, so I just want to go through very, very fast why, why I think the bottom is close, when I think the bottom is. I got a pretty great show planned for you. So if you're excited about this show, just do me a favor. If you've watched this channel and it's helped you at all in the past and you had, you've never liked the like button before, please just smooch it for me because it does help this channel a lot and guys we have something big that we're working for kind of as a community here we have 95,000 subscribers on YouTube wow I don't know what to say I'm more famous than Kim Kardashian uh, Chloe Kardashian what's that other one the Jenner I'm, I'm more famous than all of them combined probably because of my dashing good looks but also because we're making we're just having so much fun here guys so let's try to get this to 100,000 subs I think that'd be so fun maybe we can do it today I don't really know that'd be crazy um, quick update on Twitter we have uh, 51,000 followers there I would definitely follow me there you're gonna see on this video today that pretty much everything that I tell you in the videos I already talked about on Twitter and so you can get this stuff a lot faster if you follow me on Twitter and then finally the 2 plus 2 Genesis guys we are deploying we are we are sending out our update hopefully this week for the um, for the utility it's going to be an airdrop and um, I, I kind of feel like Charles Hoskinson you know I'm always saying hey here it's coming it's coming it's coming and the price just keeps going up so maybe I'll never release it maybe I'll just never actually do anything and this price will keep going up just like Cardano I'm just kidding we're gonna release it uh, we actually are building so much utility into each layer that we have to make sure that the base is correct so if it gets delayed to the beginning of next week I do apologize but it is it, it, we're getting it out as soon as possible so you're definitely gonna want to be holding one of these when you get that airdrop though let me just let me just say that okay so let's get started with the show guys because it's it's just boring right now. I'm not going to lie. Like Bitcoin at 58,500 is not what I signed up for. Like, can I, is there any CEO that I can call and get a refund? Because look, Ethereum looking terrible as well. $44,000 for Ethereum. Are we serious here? We have to be close to the bottom, right? Like this is absolutely ridiculous. We all know that Bitcoin is headed to $100,000 this year. We all know that Ethereum is headed to $8,000, $10,000 this year. I think that that is something that, that pretty much everyone agrees on. And, uh, I just, I just, I think there's no stopping it with the way the money is being printed and the way that everything has, has unfolded coming up to this point. I just feel it in my bones, right? And so these prices are ridiculous and they're not going to last. And so what we need to figure out as a channel is when is this going to end? When is this going to turn around and head back up towards where we know it's supposed to go back up to the hundred K zone, right? And, and Ethereum up to the $8,000, $10,000 zone so that our altcoins can perform really well because I wanna to talk to you about the best coins to buy in a second at the end of this video. I'm, I'm gonna go really fast today because like I said, this is just there's this is just a boring day in the markets, right? There's, there's nothing to sell, but there is a lot of things to buy, right? You never wanna sell on a red day, right? A lot of these are red. We never wanna sell into the red. We wanna buy the red and sell the green, right? And so let me talk real quick about just some things that, that made me think that yesterday or at least Somewhere in this range of like the $58,000 range, maybe we go to like 50, and, and guys, for those of you new to the channel, there's a lot of new people just for the last time. I don't care about Bitcoin. I do not own any Bitcoin, okay? What we do is we just try to judge the market by the price of Bitcoin, okay? So all of these altcoins will go up and down based on the price of Bitcoin. I know it sucks. We all hate it. Hopefully that's not the case forever, right? But for right now, Bitcoin is like that that grant that 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 person that comes to the party, right? That person that comes to the party and they are the ringleader, right? And so I used to have this friend in college. She's she's amazing. She she you know she's one of our my, one of my favorite people. But if she was in a bad mood, everyone at the party ne didn't have any fun, right? It was just like. Ooh. This sucks, right? But the second she was hype and ready to go and dancing on the table and taking shots, everyone was partying, right? You guys have all had a friend like that. Hit the like button if you've had a friend that is the ringleader, right? And that is Bitcoin. If Bitcoin is having fun, everyone is having fun, right? And so we need to see this bad boy going back up and we need to figure out where the bottom is. So I talked about it a lot in my in yesterday's video. I would encourage you to go watch this one, but I talked about a lot more yeah, a lot more detail in here about why I think that the 58k level is a very key level. And so just go back and watch this because I don't want to I don't want to repeat myself but the 58k level is holding very very steady like look these are daily candles daily candles one two three that have just bounced right off that 58k level just like i told you that they would 
And if we go to the hourly chart, I'm a little bit nervous to do this live on the filming because it always looks so weird. Okay, here we go. So if we go to the hourly chart, look how many candles have come down close to this 58K region, but just not, this is 58K right here, but just not been able to cross it, right? So 58K is kind of the line in the sand for me. I think that the bottom is somewhere between 58K, maybe we come down to 55, maybe. Maybe, but I don't know if that's realistic. Ethereum, I think we're close to, very, very close to bottomed out, if not bottomed out right here around the $4,000 while I'm filming this. And so why do I think that, right? Because the, a few things happened yesterday, which is kind of all happened at the exact same time. First, my very favorite on-chain analyst, Willie Wu, he's the best in the business at, at figuring out the, on, the fundamental supply and demand of Bitcoin, right? That's what I care about as a business owner. I know that if the supply and demand changes, you can tell where the price is gonna go, right? And so he hadn't tweeted much about the on-chain analytics in a long time. In his letters, actually, he'd been telling us that, you know, hey, there's not a lot of signal coming from the on-chain. He was like, he, he was like a scientist who was like doing, who was like looking at the vials of like, of like bugs or whatever, and the bugs weren't moving, right? And so he was just like, there's not much to say. And yesterday, for the first time, he said that the hodler kind of buyers are stepping in very much in a buy the dip scenario. So this was a big sign for me, like, oh, here they come. Here come the people that are gonna buy Bitcoin and hold it for the long term, that support the floor price of Bitcoin, right? They're coming in. So I saw that, I was like, okay, the bottom might be in. That, that was interesting. Then, then Charles Edwards literally came out and said that the bottom was in. Look at this, 1.21 p.m. yesterday. One, I mean, he, he literally said it. And, and those of you guys who watched my video yesterday, you know this. But Charles runs a fund. They do an algorithmic trading fund. And this fund, what they do is they outperform Bitcoin. It's absolutely crazy. They have bots, they have all this stuff. And literally they trade Bitcoin around and they outperform it. So if you have a guy who, who created an algorithm that can outperform Bitcoin, you have a pretty smart guy. And when he says the bottom is in, I tend to listen. Then you add on top of that, this is like the big four here, guys. I'm giving you like the big four of reasons why I think the bottom is either in or close. Then you have Raul Paul talking about this spooky chart of Ethereum. So basically this chart right here is Ethereum, charted onto Bitcoin from 2017, okay? So look at how closely this is following. It's exactly the same as Bitcoin from 2017. It even predicted this last dip to the day. And so when I see charts like this, and then I see Raul say right here that he thinks we are going to get 100 to 300% rally in Bitcoin, highly probable toward the end of the year. I mean, this is an Ethereum, excuse me. Then I, then I get excited. That's, that's another reason why I think the bottom has to be close because he doesn't just tweet this stuff randomly, right? He tweeted this yesterday and this is a very, this is very interesting timing when it lines up with this guy, when it lines up with this guy. And then finally, you have my other favorite on-chain analyst, Will Clemente, large uptick in supply moving to entities with little selling history yesterday. This is like if a bunch of Bitcoin went to all the dudes who refused to sell. You guys, you guys probably have those friends, right? They're like, they bought Bitcoin like, like last year and they, they, they're like, I will never sell my Bitcoin. I will, I will sell everything else in my life, but I will never sell my Bitcoin. That is where the Bitcoin is going right now. Okay, and that is absolutely bullish. That, that means that the bottom is, is getting set. It's like concrete getting poured into a foundation. Does that make sense? So we have the big four here. Let me know in the comments if you like this. Smooch the like button if you liked the big four reasons why I think the bottom is close. And you add on top of that a few other things, okay? So I saw this today. Sorry, my DMs keep, keep blowing open here. Uh, Charles Edwards right here. Okay, same guy. This is the depth chart, guys. For those of you guys who don't know what this is, this is showing exactly what I said, it's crazy. Remember how I told you 58K was important? Look at this, right around 59K, so, so 1K above. These are all the, these are all the, uh, excuse me, these are all the sellers, yeah, yeah. On the right side are all the sellers, the people that are, that are ready to sell Bitcoin as we go up in price, and these are all the buyers on the left side. Do you see how there's almost double the amount of buyers as there are sellers? So the bears are in for a very, very rough time over the next, I don't know, 48 hours, week, whatever, before Thanksgiving, as they, because honestly, all that I see here, guys, is that there are some whales that are trying to push the price down into their bids. That means, and that's exactly what Charles said right here too. Like, I think everyone agrees. Look, he said, ah, uh, crap, I can't find it now. Oh, hold on, hold on. He said, there are more than twice as many buyers in the order book than sellers. Some big players are forcing down the price here, likely into their resting bid. So what's happening here, guys? And I know when you see charts like this and you're new to crypto, sometimes you're like, what, what is going on? Like, what is this, right? But this is very simple. What's happening here is that the whales are trying to get their last juice out of this market. Everyone and their mother, plan B saying 100K by the end of the month. Uh, he's saying 130K. Raul Paul is saying, 
30K Ethereum. Like everyone knows where this is headed. This is like a movie that you already have seen. You already know the ending, right? And so if you're a whale, you wanna get as much juice as possible out of this market. So what are they doing? They are, they are selling here, right? And buying back here. And you can clearly see it in the chart. They literally have their bids already set. They're like, okay, well I'll sell some here and then I'll just buy it back here for cheaper. And that's why there's more buyers on the left side than there are sellers. So this is literally just proof that we are in the last final stretch, guys. If you can just hold on and stop being a sissy, that's why I wanted to, that's why I want, where's my whiteboard? Oh my gosh. That's why I wanted to make this video and say like, like timing is much greater than the coins that you buy, right? We're gonna talk about the coins in a second, but if we can buy anywhere near the bottom, which seems to be coming up here in the next seven days, then we are going to do well no matter what coins we own. And then everyone's gonna say that you got so lucky, which is absolutely crazy because you didn't. Because right now it feels weird. You're like, I don't know, are we gonna crash? What's gonna happen? So yesterday, after I saw all of those indicators, right? I saw all four of these big four people tweet, I said to myself, Kale, it's time to man up, right? The last thing I wrote on here, you can't even read it because I, I like erased it. It says balls for the boat. At some point, guys, you need to have balls for the boat. If you want the the Miami yacht, if you, I, I'm just calling it a yacht because this is something that would be fun and I would enjoy, right? If you want the yacht in Miami, you're going to have to have a little bit of balls. You're gonna have to have some nutsack here and man up at some point. And it, for all, all the ladies watching, all five of you, um, I love you, and, but you understand the analogy, right? Okay, <laughs> you need to man up at some point and actually buy some of these coins, okay? Because I don't think we're gonna be able to time the perfect bottom, right? Like 58 is already holding right here. As I'm filming this video, look at this. 58 is just solid support. 4,100 on Ethereum, all these people tweeting, like we're close to the bottom, but trying to time the exact bottom is just literally not going to work, okay? And so, oh crap, I wanna, I wanna talk about one more thing, but yesterday what I did is I, is I basically bought um, a bunch of coins yesterday, here's what I bought. I bought some Soul, I bought some FTM, and I bought some DOT, okay? These are just very safe coins. I'm gonna talk about all the coins that I actually am excited about here in a second, but I bought some safe coins yesterday because they're all bottomed out on the RSI, which is, which I'll show you, you guys want me to show you? Gosh, I, I, I kinda go off on tangents on these videos, I apologize, but basically all of the, I, all of these, I just, I summed it up like this. At some point you have to put up or shut up, right? Balls for the boat. Someone comment that below, balls for the boat, right? I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to time the bottom. I really don't. So I literally just bought some yesterday because I thought, wow, this is this is, this is is a good buying opportunity. And I'll show you the charts for these, maybe. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's really relevant. These are, these are basically my safe bags here. If I wanna put some money in that I don't want to be in, in the coins that are that I actually really am excited about, then I'll just put them in these three, okay? So this wasn't a big deal for me for the, for the record. But the, the last reason I bought yesterday too is I have this friend, okay? Any of you guys have a friend that always texts you right at the bottom, right? They, they text you and they're like, hey, we're all gonna die, we're gonna lose all of our money, Bitcoin sucks, right? They text you, but they always text you right at the bottom. So I have this friend who always, he texted me when it was 39K, right before we bottomed out and went to 60K. He texted me right at the last time we went to 29K, when we were really down there in the dumps, right? And then we went up. So he always texts me like right before we go up and he texted me yesterday too. So that's why another reason why I bought. So it's good to have a, a kind of a normal friend who's not really into crypto a lot, who can who can give you one of these indicators. Cause this indicator works really well for me, okay? Let me know if you guys have a friend like that cause I'd be really curious. But uh, so anyway, that's what I did guys. And so, so I wanna get to this last thing cause I know the title of the video was uh, these four coins will 139X. And that's definitely clickbait guys, 139X would be pretty incredible, I'm not gonna lie. But <laughs> these are going to do much, much better than Bitcoin, right? I think Bitcoin could go to $130,000 this cycle. That would be what, a, a 2X? I think Ethereum could go to $13,000 this cycle. That would be a two and a half X. That's nice, that's good, right? But these coins, all of the coins that I have here in this portfolio that you're looking at right here that I've talked about for months on this channel, the only reason I hold them is because I want the opportunity to get a 10X, a 20X, a 30X maybe max. I don't know, I don't know how high, some of these will go to, on average though, right, overall, if I hold this portfolio, my expectation is that of the small coins, I believe that they will all add up to a 10X. And that's why I hold all of these coins, guys. And that's that's just my honest strategy, okay? And so what I would, so, so sometimes I like to think of this market too, guys, as what would I do if I was dumber, 
right? Because because sometimes I'm a little bit too smart for my own good, right? I try to anticipate stuff a little too far in advance, or I try to call stuff a little bit too early, or I try to uh, outsmart these coins. Like I'll buy some coins that I, that maybe no one else would buy, right? What would I do if I was really dumb? Okay, and so the dumb the dumb simple strategy right now, if it would that I'm going to try to hold myself to because because right the bottom is close. We know that the bottom is close, but we do not know where it is and we, uh, we just kind of want to start averaging into some of these coins to get maximum gains, right? So what am I doing? I'm literally buying whichever coins are down the most that day instead of buying the ones that have pumped. So what I've done is I've taken the portfolio, I've sorted it by 24 hours, okay? So I've sorted it by 24 hours and the ones that are down the most on any given day, those are the ones that I'm going to buy because those have the most, once Bitcoin figures its shit out, right? It's going to springboard back up the, the, the most. That's, it's as simple as that, right? I already know these projects are good. If you want more details on all these projects, go watch my other videos. I talk about them every freaking day. Go check it out. That's why we have 95,000 subscribers because I go into detail, right? But that's what all I'm doing. So Polka Bridge down 19%. It was actually at $4 before it got listed on KuCoin. Pretty bad timing with that because it got listed right as Bitcoin was dumping. And that's just bad timing. So this is a great opportunity. Buying more Polka Bridge right now when it's probably the pumpiest uh, coin on the DOT ecosystem is an easy, 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 easy bet. So I'm gonna buy this, I'm gonna buy Kylan. It's down today, no business being down and it's going to slingshot back up once this market figures its stuff out. VPP, same thing. ALU, a a VPP I have a very small bag of by the way, I don't have a ton of VPP. ALU I have a huge bag of. Phantom is one of the safe ones, we don't even need to talk about that. Obviously you can always get into Phantom. ALU is one of my biggest bags, right? And it's at a discount right now. It's been holding 25 cents pretty good, but like if it's down, that's the perfect time to buy because we all know where this is headed. It's like, again, watching a movie. Mover, same thing, down today. PDEX, down today, great buying opportunity. Ocean, D-Race. Uh, Mooney, I don't have a big bag of. That was a whole fiasco, so don't even look at that one. Polka City, Polka City down today. What? What a great opportunity, right? Joe down today, about to make a run to $20. Polka, Polka Starter down today. I mean, PYR down today, UFO down today, Aleph and Polk and Atari and Remark. Remark's actually doing pretty well. So you see how the whole portfolio is, is a little bit down today, guys? So what I would do, if you want to keep it really, really simple and, uh, I would take whatever your portfolio is, and, and I know a lot of you guys watch my portfolio and all that stuff, but you gotta do your own research on this stuff, guys, too. Like, you gotta figure out what you believe in because there are going to be shakeouts, right? What if, what if I'm wrong and Bitcoin does go down to 53K, right? What's gonna happen to these, these coins? Well, Polka Bridge is gonna dump another 20%. Kylan's gonna dump another 20%, right? And you're going to have to sit there and hold that, that project and that might hurt a little bit if you do not know what it is. So if you don't know what these coins are, don't just ape in randomly. Go watch my other videos, learn about the coins, figure out what you want to invest in. But then what I would do is once you have your portfolio laid out, is just buy the red, baby. Whatever is down, buy it. Whatever is down, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. And then work your way up. And I guarantee, I shouldn't say guarantee, but by, by November 25th, I want you to come back to this channel and just smooch the like button so hard when I'm right about this, okay? On November 25th, Bitcoin is going to start ripping at the very latest. I think it's gonna happen sooner. On November 25th, Ethereum is going to start ripping at the very latest. So we have, what's today? It's the, seven, it's the 18th. We have seven days, guys. Once, once people go home for Thanksgiving, they are going to talk about cryptocurrency. It's going to be the number one dinner table topic. It's not gonna be COVID this year, it's going to be crypto. And so do you have the balls right now for the boat? Are you, are you willing to buy some of this blood, buy some of this red, so that in the next seven days when every candle turns to green and the rest of the year is just this, this amazing party that you are actually on the boat partying with us instead of waiting for that last dip that never comes. That's the decision you have to make. If that helped you at all, take your thumb out right now and smooch the button for me and I will see you guys tomorrow. I really appreciate you. Okay, peace, bye.